everyone so today I'm going to be doing a declutter video um if you are not aware I have a lot of makeup uh, this is all full of makeup and um, I have a cousin who is in cosmetology school and we have a hippo hello hippocampus hello he wants to play toy his toys are all very beat up um, but I have a cousin in cosmetology school and she and a lot of her friends always need makeup because they're just starting out. They're make, building their kits, kits, excuse me, and they always need stuff. And I have so much, and I have more than I can realistically use up. And I feel better about giving some stuff to her that she can get, like keep herself or give to some of her friends, as opposed to just like hoarding all of the stuff that I know I'm not going to use up. So I'm not going to do where we like go through drawer by drawer by drawer. I'm just gonna kind of do an overview today and figure out what I think I can part with. So this is the top of my vanity. Uh, this is very full. A lot of these things on the top are things that um, are currently project panning. So let's see if these are all MAC pigments. Um, I like most of the things on the top. These I can probably get rid of. So these are little eyeshadow duos from, Ma that one's from Maybelline. This one's from Coastal Scents. They're decent, they're nothing wrong, but I just, I've got plenty of that. And I've got, I don't know, like over 600 eyeshadows and I just don't need it. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, I like a lot of these pigments. Yeah, those are all pretty. I use this stuff. I like this purple. I did use this blue actually. So then I've got a lot of eyeliners that I don't know that they could even really use. Let's see in here. Mm -mm, that's a cream blush. Okay, these are my Stila glitters that I probably won't purchase again just because their glitter is not biodegradable and so it's just bad for the environment, but I'm gonna keep using them. I'm planning all of these. These I like. Alright, this, like I said, a lot of this stuff is pan. Oh, I don't like eyebrow pencils. This is an Anastasia one. We can get rid of that. Um, I like these pigments. This pigment I used the other day. Um, it's MAC pigment in the shade Raining Riches. Yeah, sorry, I had to read it. Um, I don't really like that. Whoops. So we can get rid of that. So this is all stuff I'm panning and just whatever I could fit in. Cause I like to have as much up here as possible. Cause I'm a lot more likely to reach for things up here than things up in other places in my collection. My top drawer, this is all stuff I'm currently project panning. Um, and then my washcloth I use to like wipe off my stuff. So nothing's leaving from this drawer. This is my primer, my shadows and powders and foundation. And concealer though I only have one foundation and one concealer and they're up there I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these three I don't really like just plain eyeshadow bases I like cream shadows I'm not gonna use those I like both of these primers powders I don't have a ton and I could realistically see myself using all of these up within the next year or two um, and so I think I'm gonna keep all of those powders Cream eyeshadows, I do have a lot that I do really like them and I use them. And, um, I'm not ready to get rid of any of these right now. So this is my cheek product drawer. Sorry, I'm just gonna get a little comfy. These are my docks and pants. They're pajama pants. My mom had them specially made for us because we always have Christmas pajamas. I think a lot of people do on Christmas Eve. We get pajamas. My mom had these specially made for us. So my mom, my brother, my sister, and I all have them. All right. So these are all my cheek products. So blush, bronzer, highlight. Let's see if there's something in here I don't really feel like I'm going to use. Oh, I don't know. This is the uh, Laura Mercier Glow Powder. And translucent I don't like it it's kind of it's not glowy enough to be a highlighter but it's too glowy to be a face powder in my opinion this urban decay naked flush palette it just doesn't really do anything for me I, I think I can lose that 
I don't really like this that much anymore either. This is the BH Cosmetics Lilac. I like a hot pink blush. And if I get rid of both of those, I'm not going to have one. But, well, I have this. That's kind of, I'm sorry, you can't see. But that's kind of warm tone. Oh, what's in here? I might have one. I think there's a hot pink blush in here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm fine. I'll get rid of that. Um, there is some more stuff in this back part. Um, I know I like this. I like these. What is back here? Alright. That's everything, so now we can see it all. Oh, there's another hot pink blush, so I'm okay. Um... I think I like everything that's left. Yeah. So in here are my pigments, my glitters, my eyeshadow singles, duos, trios, and quads. So I'm gonna take this. I don't, I used it the other day. It doesn't really excite me, honestly. Um. Hmm. What uh? This is a pretty single shadow, but I have so many sparkly whites. I don't need it. Um, <laughs> a lot of eyeliners, but I do use eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make sure I don't want to, you know, if I'm not, if I don't feel like I'm really going to be drawn to it or use it. Oh, I don't, I've used this. It's a Makeup Atelier pigment in purple. I've used it a few times. I'm never that impressed with it. So I'll get rid of that. Um, I just don't want to leave anything out. Am I going to leave? Uh, I, this doesn't excite me. These two green eyeshadows. This Marc Jacobs Omega shadow. It's like a, a burgundy shade. I used it a couple times. I don't really love it. I got that one from Influencer. Um, mm -hmm. This fireball shade has been in here and I never reach for it. It's like a it's a duochrome like pinky shade. It's pretty, but I just know I don't reach for it. So I don't need it. Um How similar are these three eyeshadows? So I've got this light purple. I do like a purple eyeshadow. I have, uh, I was about to say I have blue eyes, but that's a lot. I have very dark brown eyes. So, let's just do some comparisons. This one is a lot darker, and I know I like it. This one I think I can part with. It's H&M in Lavender Frost. And I don't know the last time I reached for this purple. I used to really like it, but it's in Silver Lilac by CoverGirl. And I like these, so I'll keep that. I can go. This my friend recently gave me because she has an Ipsy bag and she was like, I'm not going to use these. You like makeup? If I could open it, that would be really helpful. I can't get this open. I think it's a taupey shade. Ah. Yeah, it's a pretty sparkly taupe, but I don't really need it, honestly. Um, This dark purple, I don't think I'd reach for. Um, I really like the ColourPop shades that I have. I used this light pink the other day. Oh, this, I never, it never does what I want it to. I want it to be really bright and pink, and it's just not. It's an Anika eyeshadow in the shade Fairy Floss. So I can pass on that. Same with this. This is a Trina Tarantino pigment in the shade Opal. And it just, it's got like some green in it, but again, it never really does. It's not focusing on it, but just believe me. There's me. Hello. 
I've got pink hair. Um, it just doesn't do what I want it to do, so I'm going to get rid of that. And this little eyeshadow, it's in the shade. It's in from the Meat Matte Trimony Palette. It's like a nice burgundy matte shade, right? Okay, I do like that, honestly. I, I, I reach for that sometimes. Chin, 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 chin. Queen, queen. Um, this shade I used to really like, but this packaging is like that rubberized packaging, and it kind of grosses me out. It's a Starlux Single Eyeshadow in Inter Eden. Um, it's a really pretty shade, but I just don't really like it that much anymore. And I just okay. I'm comfortable. How similar is this shadow? This is a NYX Prismatic and so jaded to this one. This is Urban Decay Bender. Okay, they're not honestly that similar. This one's more blue. Um, all right. Palettes. I've got a lot of you. Um, I have this Coastal Scent palette down here. The Enchanting Eye Palette. I never reach for it. It swatches nicely, but I don't think I've, I think I've used it once. I can get rid of that. This H&M Purple palette, it just doesn't really excite me. Let me open it. Well, it's not going to open, but it's just purple. I don't love it. This is my only ColourPop col uh, pressed shadows. And I don't really like the way any of them perform. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this is a limited edition MAC palette from the Nutcracker Sweet Collection. Let me see if I can open it. I'm sorry I'm having, oh my gosh. It just seems like I'm not gonna ever be able to open any of these things. Here we are. There's that. I don't really like it. All right. I'm gonna sit on the ground. And we'll see if there's more things that I think I can get rid of. Um, I like all of these. I just, you know, my weekly product fan series is definitely helping me figure out what I like more. I've had three of these. I got rid of the other two. I don't think I'm going to want to keep that one. It's from the, it's like a Too Faced palette. There is a trio. We can be done with that. I, I don't think I'd miss it. Um, I know I want that. Okay. I think it's time for you to go. This is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. These cheek products are beautiful. I love them, but I never reach for them. And the eyeshadows just don't excite me. So that can go. Kat Von D Interstellar palette. I love this silver, but the rest I just don't really like. And I've got some other silvers I like. So this can go. Laurent. Pirates of Stain. Um, these two palettes are huge, but I do like them. Alright. I think that's good. And then we have lip products. I don't want these. I don't want that. Um... I like lip liners, and I think I'd use all of those colors. These are my nudes. I don't know that they could really use a lot of this. They can't use any of the, like, dip stuff, I'm pretty sure. Like the, the ones with the doe foot applicator. And a lot of my lip products, I'm ashamed to say, I haven't used very much. And so I don't really know that I don't like them. Um, look at these pinks. I'm not sure. There's a lot of lip products that I'm going to get rid of. 
There's ones I probably should, but I just don't think of any of them that like I don't like. These are my purples. Uh, we can get rid of this. This one is sanitary um, and it's pretty, but I just don't reach for it. It's a tinted lip balm in the shade Fiesta by Micah Beauty. Okay, now we're over to my oranges. But yeah, I use those. These are my vampier shades. Uh, I don't really like this. Is um, a lack and co lipstick. It's a pretty color, but it um, it like bleeds on me, so I don't like that. That's in the shade. Ninza. I don't really like this Fenty Beauty Matte Mazelle in the shade Grisella. So we can get rid of that. This Burt Bees Tinted Lip Balm, I just don't think I'll ever use it, honestly. got the light nudes. I wore this at my friend's wedding and then I just like end up keeping it. It's long leg and fabulous. It's a MAC lipstick. I don't like it. Oh, that can go. Um, is this the one I wore the other day that I didn't really know? Is it this one? No, I don't know where it is. There's one of these that I wore, and I didn't think it was that pretty on me. I don't know. Oh, I can get rid of this. This is a tinted lip balm. Um, there's three of them in here, and you grab the other two. I'm not going to wear that, and I'm not going to wear this. And they can use those because um, they're more sanitary. Where are the other ones? Here's one. They're like different pies. And I, I just bought them because I shouldn't have done this, but I'm going to be honest with you all. I bought them because I wanted the whole collection. And I was like, oh, Hippo likes them. He likes the makeup. I was like, I need to get all of them. And, okay, I can't open them right now. And they're beautiful, but I just don't use these kind of products. Where, oh, here's the other one. So there's all three of them. I mean, they're really nice. But I'm not going to use those. And I don't... Some of these things, like this or the MAC stuff, I feel like I could maybe sell on Poshmark. But I don't want to do it because I'm trying to make money. And I am I feel like if I'm selling stuff on Poshmark, I kind of am just contributing to, like, people overbuying makeup. Whereas with my cousin in cosmetology school and her friends in cosmetology school, they truly do need it, like, for their job. So... I'm not saying they don't overbuy makeup too, but I feel better about it, honestly. All right. So that's my lip products. Not a lot of those gone, but you know. And then let's look at my nail polishes too, real quick. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any that I feel like I could get rid of. This sinful colors one. Um, it never turns out as yellow as I want. I don't like this one or this one. That's Zoya Dot in a LA Colors one. I was wearing this one when I got engaged. Let's see. Greens, blues. I like blue nail polish a lot. Purple, deep vampy shades, black, white. I never wear white nail polish. I just don't wear it. So, and I'm panning those. Okay. So this is everything we're going to be getting rid of. 
Uh, it's a decent variety of stuff. Um, I feel confident in getting rid of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to end up having to buy something in any of these categories. You know, like I don't want to get rid of, I have one concealer. If I got rid of that, then I'd have to go buy a new one, which doesn't make me feel good. But I have so many cheap, like of all of these categories, I know I'm not going to have to buy stuff for a few years at least. So, um, yeah, that's my little declutter. Uh, I'm excited to have all of these things out of my collection and give them to somebody that I think can really use them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.